All right, what's up everyone? So let's talk about this black Mew for a second. Um, I just made a video talking about the golden Pikachu that I have here at the background and kind of explained what it is. Now I kind of want to talk about this black Mew and what this is. Now, this one's a little bit more hard to explain because there isn't really any, any information like about the company and stuff or like the reason behind why they decided to make it black and stuff. Um, you know, it's just kind of like a mystery and I don't really know anything about it. So I just kind of want to share the information I do know. But if anybody out there does know more information, you know, let me know because I want to learn more about it and I just kind of want to get an idea of like um, like the history behind it and the products and stuff. So pretty much there's this guy all right his name is Hiroshi Fujiwara and he's a designer a street designer and he has this company called Fragment Design all right. So him and his company Fragment Design they collaborated with Pokemon to create this project called the Thunderball project that's what it's called. So it's Hiroshi Fujiwara's Fragment Design and Pokemon coming together to create the Thunderball project all right. So the Thunderbolt project, um, I'm pretty sure you've heard about it before. If you play Pokemon Go, on Pokemon Go, they release some items like avatar items where like there's like the, you could wear like the shirt of the Thunderbolt project. And you could also like capture a Pikachu with the Thunderbolt project hat. All right, so pretty much the Thunderbolt project first came out in 2018 at a Hype Beast event. Hype Beast is pretty much where a bunch of designers come together and share what they have. So the Thunderbolt project was first seen at the Hype Beast event and they had like like the products like the Pikachu, the original Pikachu, the black Pikachu, the Thunderbolt Pikachu, and um, that's where it was first seen. And then later on after that event, they had a pop-up store and a pop-up store is pretty much a temporary store that's open for like a week. So if you don't go there, like within that time frame, the store is gonna close down, you know, they pop up and then they leave, all right? So the first pop-up store was in 2019 and I'm not completely sure where it was, but pretty much if you wanted products like this, you had to be at the pop-up store to get these products. And you know, if you weren't there then you missed out you know you missed your chance i think like around that time 2018 2019 they only had like very very limited items so if you got the original pikachu the, the original project thunderbolt pikachu the black one you know it was really rare at the time and right now it seems like it doesn't really sell for that much i'm not sure there's a lot of duplicates counterfeit you know people got this black pikachu and they remade it to sell it so i don't know if the original is cheap or if the original is really hard to find again i don't know anything about this man and this is just like information i'm trying to find because it seems like a lot of people on eBay are selling the Pikachu, but I'm pretty sure that Pikachu is like bootlegged, fake, counterfeit. And the original ones, you know, they're kind of hard to find because, you know, it's kind of hard to tell the difference between like the original one and then the bootleg one, especially if like the counterfeit one is like really well done and really well made. How are you going to tell the difference, right? But anyway, on eBay, it seems like they're not going for that much. The original Thunderbolt Pikachu, the original one that came out like in that 2018, 2019 frame, um, it's pretty big. Like it's bigger than this mirror, you know, it's probably like this big. It's definitely bigger than this. But anyway, um, later on, you know, they decided that we're going to have more pop-up stores the Thunderbolt project you know they were popping up like all over Asia man um, there was like one in Beijing Tokyo you know Taipei um, all over Asia man all these pop-up stores and they were selling like these random Thunderbolt project um, products and you had to be there or be square if you weren't there then you didn't then, then you missed your chance and it's kind of hard to be there when it's like oh there's a pop-up store in Tokyo but it's gonna be there for a week well I'm not gonna be there in time dude because I'm in America right so all these pop-up stores are coming out like all over Asia man probably like even even like places like London I heard you know I I have no idea man I have no idea where like all the locations are but all these products are coming out and they're temporary products so this Mew that I have specifically you know it looks legit it looks cool the original Mew the first Mew that came out from the Thunderbolt project is not this Mew specifically like the the Mew the first Mew that they released the first black Thunderbolt Mew I'll put some pictures of it but as you can tell that one is obviously different from this one and which kind of asks the question like is this one a fake or is it real I have no idea man my friend who lives in China and has visited like you know Taiwan and stuff and has been like pretty much to Japan, Taiwan, China. They said they came across like a black Mew and you know they just came across it and they asked me if I wanted one and I said yes please buy it for me and send it over to America because I would really really love one. So they bought it for me you know I paid them back and you know I received this in the mail and everything. I also got this black Pikachu from them like they also told them to pick this one up. So they came across it and you know the tags right here it says you know Thunderbolt Project by Fragment and Pokemon you can see the tags right there and the tags behind it right here you know has like all the information like in Japanese and stuff and you know there's the Thunderbolt project symbol so is this one fake I have no idea man I mean you know China does have like a lot of fake plushies and stuff but the Thunderbolt project pop-up stores were also like in China Beijing I don't know if she came across a legit one like the first one that they released the Thunderbolt project um, I already showed you pictures from, from it and you know it's different from this one but this one might be like a second version of it like a variation of it maybe like a third version 
version, a variation of it. Um, and like I said, there's pop-up stores that like come out everywhere and they have different products. So who knows, man, who knows? Maybe like one of the pop-up stores is like, you know what, we're gonna release like this type of mule. Or maybe this one's a bootleg. I have no idea because there's not enough information about this to tell you like if it's like this one's legit or not. I only paid like 20 bucks for this one, so it wasn't that much, but it's still really cute. It looks legit to me. I would like to believe it's legit, but who knows? If there's any enough information out there about like the products they sell or like the versions of the products. Like maybe there's like a Mew version one or like a Mew version two. Who knows if anybody out there knows more information about these plushies, you know, I would like to know. And yeah, you just have to keep an eye out for like um, these products in these pop-up stores. And um, the Thunderbolt Project does have an Instagram page where they kind of show their products. You know, they have like shirts, sweaters, you know, hats, really cool stuff, man, that they sell at these pop-up stores. And recently they announced that there's gonna be like, they, like they have like a black Pikachu, you know, a black Pikachu that a black Mew. And now they're gonna release a black Psyduck, a black Meowth and a black Jigglypuff, which all look amazing. They just announced it on their Instagram page. You know, I'll leave a link to their Instagram page, you know, in the description. And yeah, pretty much they're, they're not giving me like any other information about it. They're just like, all right, keep a lookout for that pop-up store. But where's it gonna be, yo? Like, is it gonna be like in Japan? Is it gonna be like in China? Is it gonna be like in like somewhere in Europe? Like, like give us some information. Like, you know, maybe I want a black side duck and I want to go to that store, you know? But you know, they don't really have any information like of where the location is, and they don't have like an online store. Like, if you want these products, you have to buy them from resellers, and you know if you buy from a reseller it's kind of iffy because you don't know if you're buying a fake product who knows so yeah the only way to buy uh, to buy a legit product is to find one of these pop-up stores or run into one or be there when they announce it and pick one up at the actual store it's kind of hard to tell you know where they're gonna be at which makes it really unique but again like i don't really know enough information about you know the thunderbolt project and fragment and pokemon like yeah you have like the the basic information like yeah it's a collaboration to make these products in these random stores that pop up all over the place but uh, you know what else is there behind it you know what kind of products are there like where can you find like the huge catalog of products you know like there isn't really like in-depth information about it i guess so you know if you guys know anything else about it you know let me know drop a comment because i would like to know and yeah what are your thoughts about this you know what do you think about this black mute do you think this one's like a legit product i mean it's made kind of like this leather material this is how it looks like you know it looks really cute man even if it is even if this one is fake like i think it's really cute you know here are the tags dude like it looks legit to me but again Again, like I said, who knows, right? There's a lot of fake products that have to do with like the Thunderbolt project, but there's also like a lot of random products from all the pop-up random stores that they have. But yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. You know, drop a comment, drop a like, drop a dislike if you didn't like the video. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.